Ronnie, commiserations. I don't think anybody saw that result coming, but were you feeling yourself out there? You didn't look like your normal self? I just felt a little bit un- under the weather, you know. I feel like my, my body's, my legs are like lead and my arms feel really heavy. I'm not making no excuses. I just felt absolutely uh, exhausted, to be honest with you. And uh, I just tried to do as much as I could, you know, just tried to hang in there and see if I could manage to somehow get through the match and a few days off might, might have felt a bit better. So uh, it wasn't meant to be. Did you have the flu or is it just a sort of lack of energy from, you know, a busy period? Uh, no, well, I can, I can, you can hardly say busy. I mean, um, you know, if you're comparing people who have been busy, there's been a, a lot of players that have been a lot busier than I have and they're, and they're feeling OK. So, you, you know, you can put it down to that or you can just put it down to just, uh, just one of those things, you know. I think it's just one of those things sometimes. You know, you can try and get everything right, but there's some things that are just out of your control and, and there's not much you can do, you know. I mean, was it as well a bit of the pressure as well out there? And obviously you're always there as the, as the number one, aren't you, and the player to beat? Well, like, again, you can look at it two ways, you know. You can either say, yeah, I may, may have crumbled under the pressure, or you can just say, well, you know, maybe my record would suggest otherwise. So, you know, I'll leave that to you guys to try and um, uh, work out for yourselves. But, you know, um, you know, it could be a mixture of things, you know. How impressed were you with the way he held himself together at the end? Yeah, I thought he'd done well, you know, especially the last uh, couple of frames, you know, and um, put a good pink and black, and that clearance in the end was a uh, was a very good clearance. So yeah, and I held himself to well well in in the crucible, you know. Many people will say this is arguably the biggest shock in crucible history. Is that how you see it? Well, you can you know if you look down the history of the years, you know, there's been a few. You know, um, Davis got beat first round. I think Hendry's had a, a first round. I'm sure John Higgins has. I'm sure Mark Williams has. Um, I have, you know, there's there's probably been uh, a few results um, where everybody's expected maybe a certain player just to kind of breeze through, um, you know, but that's just snooker and it's sports the way it goes. How frustrating is it though for you, you know, given how well you've played this season? Yeah, look like again, you can look at it two ways, you know, I, I look back at it and I think it's been a very successful season, you know, every tournament I play and I, I, I treat it like a world championships and, um, you know, this this one just wasn't meant to be, but you know, there's been plenty, plenty of other good, good tournaments. You know, so you'll process this disappointment and quickly move on. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like you know, again, you can look at it in, in many different ways. You know, I could have got through and had to endure another match where I was struggling, um, but yet yeah, you can look at it another way and go, it's over, it's done. You know, I can now just disappear and just kind of um, uh, just have a holiday and, and just enjoy the rest of the tournament. Okay. When, when did you sort of feel? You- no, no, it's been it's been a while now. You know, um, maybe since after uh, Dan did know. You know, um, I was in. Yeah, you know, I was not feeling too great there, and then you know, I kind of got myself feeling a little bit better. And then last couple of weeks, there's been a few days where I just felt a bit r- ropey, you know, and then felt okay. And then so I wasn't surprised it come, but you know, it's just, just a little disappointing, you know, that um, you're not physically at your best, you know. Nah, I think it's just, just everybody gets it, don't they? You know, what I mean, it's just um, you know, if we could, if you could take a magic pill to kind of protect yourself from this stuff, we probably all would. But you know, it's just it's just life. It's general. It's just it's not the end of the world. It's the way it goes. I tried to give it my best. I, I tried my hardest, um, and it wasn't good enough. So unfortunately, you're probably one of the players you, you take quite a lot of care. Do you try to stay sort of healthy and well? Yeah, just just yeah, it just goes to show. You know, sometimes you know. Um, you can do all the right things and still not get it right. So, you know, you, c- you can only do your best and I do my best all, all the time and sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't. But, you know, um, I'd rather just focus on the bigger picture and, and, and not try and just sort of, you know, get stuck in the moment sometimes. You, know. you explained about yesterday because it just didn't seem to click yesterday at that first session. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, there's, it's just, you know, that, when you look at it, you know, you look at sport in general, you know, you can see, you know, sportsmen they perform brilliantly one day and then the next day they don't and you just think well why is it you know you can't really put it down to anything you know it's just it's just the nature of sport you know sometimes and the haircut did you go to the hairdressing last uh, uh, no my friend done it for me so uh, it's not an expensive haircut if that's what you're asking Ronnie you've complained of insomnia before and you do look Tired, yeah. You know, what we're saying, so that a that part of it, part of it, yeah, yeah. I've had it for quite a few years now, and the, pro- <laughs> the problem is, um, I had it for like the first five or six years, and after three or four years of it, you get used to having two or three hours sleep, and then the last two years, I've been sleeping a bit better. And then when you don't have a spell where you don't sleep well, your body's not used to, you get, you know, you feel, you feel it. So I'd rather have full-on insomnia, and 
and, and you, your body learns to adapt to anything, which is which is quite unbelievable, really. But uh, yeah, I haven't been sleeping great, and um, yeah, it's just the way it is, you know. Yeah, but I've I've got my health. I've just <laughs> that's probably the most important thing. For the last couple of nights, have you slept at all? Or you not brilliant, no, not brilliant. No. How, do you feel sort of like this my disappointment, a bit of relief? Or no, of well, like there's two ways you can look at it. You know, obviously, you know, there's. Um, Disappointment, obviously, you know, because you, you want to try and have a good run in it. And then the other way is, like I said before, you know, if I was to get through and feel like this in the next match, that wouldn't have been much fun for me either, you know. So, you know, if I feel better Friday, I'll be really disappointed. If I still don't feel too great, then I think, you know what, it probably wasn't the worst thing that could have happened, you know. James, how far can you go? Um, he's, he's a very, very good player. And, you know, obviously, you know, Again, there's, there's 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 other ways you can look at it. You know, he's come here under the radar. You know, you know he's playing with, with freedom, um, or he could maybe go into his next match and maybe put a little bit more pressure on himself and maybe not perform as well as he did out there. So, you know, you'll have to wait and see. But yeah, he's a he's a very good player. Is Stephen Henry seven still a realistic target? At the um, uh, <laughs> um. You know, it's, it's, again, you know, you have to kind of look at it in a certain way. And some people are driven by records, some people are not. You know, if they are driven by records, then they'll probably, you know, uh, want to go away and work at it and come back again. Some people are not, and they just kind of take event up by event and and um, and just and just kind of have short-term, more short-term sort of goals, I suppose. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Thank right. you.